welcome to Cardiff Southwest Cluster. I'm Dr. Karen Pardee and I'm the lead GP for our cluster. I'm here to tell you about our cluster transformation project. This project is inspired by the work of compassionate communities and is based on the strong links that we have with our community here in Cardiff Southwest. Hi, I am Dr. Amir Ghangu, GP in Southwest Cluster of Cardiff. I am also MDT lead for Canton, Riverside and Pont Cana. MDT stands for Multidisciplinary Team. The aim of our MDT is to provide one-stop shop where vulnerable patients of Southwest Cluster can get access to various community-based services via multidisciplinary approach to keep them safe and healthy, both physically and mentally. We strive for right help at right place at right time. MDT is also helped to avoid unnecessary hospital admissions. Here we go. This is the Canton Riverside MDT. Hello, my name is Dr. Helen Lindsay and I'm the project group lead for the Kyra MEE MDT. We currently have two MDTs. These meet um, fortnightly on alternate weeks. This is done at the moment virtually. We have lots of partners that are involved in our MDTs. We have the Community Resource Team, Independent Living Services, ACE, which stands for Action in Cairo MEE, Wellbeing for You, Care and Repair, District Nursing, Mental Health Services for Older People, Primary Care Mental Health Liaison Services, Cluster Pharmacists, Macmillan Community Liaison, and general practitioners from the represented practices. This is the integrated care hub. Hi, my name's Rachel Lee. I'm a GP in Woodlands Medical Centre and also one of the project lead for the Southwest Cluster work. Um, so I'm leading on the advanced care planning parts of this work. Um, I just want to very quickly give you a rundown of what we've been doing to try and increase the number of advanced care plans or opportunities that people have to discuss their future plans in the Southwest Cluster. So we first started by wanting to raise the awareness about what advanced care planning was and almost to um, stop making talking about your wishes when dying and um, being the elephant in the room and to make it much more easy for people to have these conversations. Um, evidence has shown it, it does lead to a much better death if people are able to express their wishes before they become too unwell to do so. This is both for the families, for the patient and for the healthcare professionals looking after them. So I worked very closely with the advanced care planning nurses um, for Cardiff and Vale and we did some advanced care planning training for clinicians, for receptionists. Um, we also did specific visits to nursing homes to one of our local mosques. And the plan was moving forward, we were going to have advanced care planning stands in waiting rooms of surgeries and also have death cafes where again people could come in and find out more information about advanced care planning. Um, grief space was set up as a community response um, to bereavement and it's intended to be a peer support space. So it's not mental health support or bereavement counselling, but it can be used in conjunction with these really vital services. It's about a space where we can come together um, with people from our community who have similar experiences to ourselves, where we can um, feel heard and acknowledged. Okay, hello everybody and welcome to Grief Space. Hi, I'm Caroline and I work for ACE at the Dusty Ford in EU Cardiff. I am today putting together some back home boxes for patients who have recently come out of hospital as a little pick-me-up. So in these back myself i'm going up to the dusty forge in a moment and i'm going to be picking up three indoor plant grow boxes which i'll be taking out to deliver later on and then i'm going up to visit a lady in the Ely area this lady was referred just uh, before lockdown and the aim was to support the lady uh, to become involved in some community groups We've stayed in contact through lockdown and our contact has been through telephone conversations. And more recently, I've met her in her garden and we've sat down. Hello, my name is Anne. 
I'm a, I'm a volunteer for the Phone a Friend project, uh, which I've been part of for a while. Uh, I make regular phone calls to um, a couple of people within the community. Um, my background is health and uh, I've done this sort of thing before with Age Connect and other agencies and I know how important those calls can be to people that are socially isolated and lonely. Uh, I can remember ringing one of my clients on Christmas Day and she actually said to me that was the first time she'd used her voice all week. Um, so I'm very proud to be part of what ACE are doing within the community.